Hello everybody, my name is Marshmer, all you can just call me Mars, and welcome to a game called Doors Paradox. It is a game where, uh, it's a puzzle game basically, a puzzle escape game, where we're going through, um, doors. Yes, we're going through doors. You know, just, you know, like, Doraem wants a door to anywhere. And it's basically a handcrafted 3D diorama by studio, by developer Big Loop Studios. It recently came out, like, a couple weeks ago, before I took on a break. Uh, but, and I, when I saw this game... It was interesting because I do like escape, escape, uh, escape rooms and all the jazz puzzles, and the game itself looks beautiful. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, let's see. Click on flowers or click on the flower to zoom in. Click. Rotate the pot. Okay, so if there's this kind of things, you can rotate the the thing. I guess there is an item. Of course, there is book. Mm hmm. Okay, right click to zoom out. Now start to look around. Alright. Pick the doorknob. Doorknob. Yep. Wait, what's that shiny thing? Gem collected. It's one of those collectibles. I guess. What's this? Why is this so heavy? Okay, I can't do that. Okay. Okay, let's see. Alright, what is this thing? Okay, also to ask, what is that? Click on the broken face. Remove the face pieces. There is a key. Mm-hmm. I wonder where this key goes. Hmm. It's not like there was a big ass whole keyhole back here. Alright. Crack and put it in. Okay, simple enough. Spin it around. Oh. Well, that was surprising. Okay, now we can open this. We can indeed. Alright. Another gem, and another hook. And what is this switch-like thingy? Can we do anything with this? Nope. How about this? Can we drag it? No. Okay. How about this thing? We haven't seen this yet. Can I not... Oh, I have to click on it. Okay. Clover. Okay. And a ladder. Dear me, you've been in a bad accident. Please, follow me. Ah, are we in some sort of trippy loopy land right now? That's why we're like this. So I suppose we go here. Yes, you don't have to tell me, game. That looks like a thing that you can insert a clover in. Yes, the doorknob. Oh. Put the hooks first. And then put the doorknob. And we spin it. And the door unlocks? Oh, the door spins first. Alright. And it opens. Uh, I'm so used to I'm so used to doing these things in mobile that I keep like swiping and shit, in, uh, swiping and stuff. But that's it. All right, let's see what's beyond there. There's a cat there, and there's like, some sort of weird portal. All right. Oh, we're following the cat. Okay. I've all complete. Well, that was a tutorial. That was pretty easy, but pretty fun. Pretty simple enough in escape games, you know. Like, there's nothing weird yet. Like, there's no interesting gimmick mechanics or like. Weird stuff you have to do yet. Oh yeah. Now it's fairy tale. It's some sort of cabin. Okay. Oh, what's this? All right, another one of these things. I am a messenger of chaos, and I mean you no harm. A black cat is a messenger of chaos, of course. All right, we got the crowbar. We got the weather. Anything else there, I suppose this two wheels we, we zoomed in on it but there's nothing nothing seems to be, oh oh all right another gem okay hmm let's see how about this i want to zoom in on this but i clicked on this so sure oh Ooh. that's interesting that's cool all right some sort of amulet Medallion, okay. Not Mamlet, Medallion. My English is clearly lacking. Okay. So, what? It, so, this is the same thing on this side, too? Okay. There's a flower. Well, adios, flower. Gem. Alright, is that it? Only gem? Alright. No, not that. I want to click on. Can't track with this. Oh. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else in front and the sides, unless I'm missing something. 
Let's check the back now. Alright. I immediately saw this chest. Oh. Light. Oh. This kind of thing. Okay. Okay, I think I need to find some sort of coil. And this seems to be it. Alright. This fits the medallion. And then what happened? Oh, it spins. Oh. Oh, that's cool. A ring. Okay. Can I not? Okay. There's no way in hell I can't open this simple lock. <laughs> Alright, we got another ring. Is there anything else in this bird cage? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. We go back here. This should be the inner one. Uh huh. And this should be the outer one. Missing one more. Missing one more ring. Um. Okay, there has to be use for this crowbar somewhere around here. What? There has to be something where I can use a crowbar at. Ah, found it. And there's the third ring. There you go. Yep. All right. Okay. So far, it's pretty obvious with crates and stuff. Is oh, I need, for, I need to zoom in more. So how do I f how do I solve this puzzle? Isn't this, a, isn't this it basically? Oh, oh! I didn't realize I had to match it. <laughs> See, boys, doing escape games, you don't have to be smart and and insightful. Click things out, and it'll work. And somehow you'll f you'll f finish the puzzle. Don't, 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 don't follow my advice, people. Don't follow my advice. This is some dumb, dumb shite so puzzle solving right here by me. Alright, just a key. Rotate the shit it. And uh, open the door. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Cat, agent of chaos. I am here again. Lead me to somewhere new. I think. Okay. Well, still pretty easy. Because it's still the beginning. I wonder, how many levels are they? 20. Oh, that's a lot of levels. Alright, ancient ruins. Hmm. That is immediately something I need to check. Why is it up and moving up and down like that? Oh what the it's still floating. Red, red, blue, blue, green, green. There used to be some sort of pattern that I need to figure out. Well, let's check the front first. That's a hammer. Alright. Can I can I directly use the same on this rock? Nope. What happens if I just... <laughs> I knew it! A hook, okay. Uh, empty bucket. I know what to do with this. We put the hook here, and then we put the empty bucket here. Alright. Pull in whatever's in there, boy. Water! Okay, what do I do with this bucket of... Oh, wait, there's a ladder there. You were once little and carefree, full of unlimited potential. Are we a cat? Are we a cat? Is that what are we, that's what we are? Well, the hammer's gone already. Okay, so check, let's check the border back. Okay, another gem. And face, yeah. We have to put the face here, I'm guessing. Oh, we need to figure out the symbol. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I there's a there's a set of symbols on the door. Ah, okay, I see it. So the left one is the second, and then the right one is the fourth. Okay. So second and fourth. No fourth mouse. Ah, there you go. Okay, so I guess we just have to put the water. Eh. Oh, and then we decide. Okay, next one. So it's gonna re it's gonna reset anyway. So do that. Oh, this bucket now has an unlimited water somehow. Okay, that that should be it, right? Okay. Hey, aren't you the thing in the in the menu? 
Cylinder. Can I not interact with you, weird stone? Oh, Alright. Oh, no. This one goes here. Okay, so green's at the top. Blue's at the left and red's on the right. I think I, I, I understand this. I understand this puzzle. I have to get... So this is fixed, right? I have to somehow rotate. Yeah. Oh, oops. Take there. Uh... Plus. And this is done. I've done I've done worse puzzles than this. So doing this kind of rotation rotating stuff that yada, yada 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 is pretty simple for me. Hello again, Mr. Cat, Agent of Chaos. I am here. Follow you again. So the reason why I like this escape game puzzles is that it does help you train your creative mind, your thinking mind and design mind, even though those sometimes like I said. Um, you do just randomly click on stuff and then somehow you solve it because just, it looks very obvious. And for this game so far, I'm thinking that I don't, I'm not sure because we're still very early in the game and like most of the things are like pretty obvious, you know, like the the way the the levels are signed and how the puzzles are are just like pretty obvious, right? So that um, it's still pretty simple and that. And that a lot of these things are elements that are always commonly used in other puzzle games. So, for me, I've seen a lot of these things already. Like, oh, if it's this kind of puzzle, right? You, you, it, this is definitely going to be doing this, this, and this, basically. So, uh, do if I'm if I'm really moving quickly or like I was able to just solve this quickly, it's because I've seen this kind of pattern before, and it's just like yeah. I see. Look. Everything you see in this kind of things, there's always like, oh yeah, of course there's something intractable in there, you know, some shit like that. Sometimes even like, I played the game, the doors. For me, the doors, the doors, uh, doors, the cube. Oh, is it? Yeah. Those are the, one of the most hardest ones because they're because you have to explore around and you have to kind of like connect the dots, which is a way, which is quite complicated. One of those escape rooms. All right. So enough talk about other puzzle games. Let's see what else we have. So while while I was talking about another game, we found a log. A green pot and some matchboxes. And judging from this front, there's nothing else that seems to be interactable. So let's just go to the back area. There's an axe and another part. Okay, we'll take the axe, put the lock here, I'm guessing. Uh huh. And we use the axe to chop it in half. Uh huh. Get the chopped wood. Get the diamond first. Yeah. Can we get the axe? Can we get the axe again? Nope. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing we just have to... Oh, it's locked. Hmm. No. Put this here. What is this? Oh, okay. So this is the puzzle, basically. Alright, so we have to just find a combination. There's a letter. I realize. Your problems came with the sunset of your childhood. Hmm. Thanks, game. I swore. I'm sure that we have to put the shop wood down here, but it's not letting me. And this, we can't... And we... Oh, I'm dumb. It's not a click. It's a bl it's the bloody hold. Okay, now we put it there. Light it on fire. Close it down. Gonna pump it up the steam engine through smoke. Gonna rotate something. Oh, it's lifting that up. Okay. Oh. Some new puzzles here. Ah, it's that kind of puzzle. Okay, okay. There's one. Okay, that's the first pattern. One is the third and the second top. So it's here and here. Right. Next one. Same pattern. Hmm. I need to put the. Blue. I need to put the red on the bottom again. Here. Top. No, you're in the middle. So I need to put you in the middle area. So we do that, 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 and there you go. Yep. Sequence puzzles are kind of okay-ish for me personally, because. They're all logic, right? If you have to, because like, 
So, so Bazo is like a chef and stuff like that as well. It's pretty, hmm, pretty simplistic. Not, not simplistic. I can kind of figure them out relatively quickly because they're basically sequences. And some of the sequences just have a, has a, like a, not a fixed uh, method of doing it, but like a couple of ways you can do it. Which is very fun in my opinion. Ah, uh ah, -uh. okay. Alright, hello again, Agent of Chaos. I am higher. So let us go in. Where else will you take me? Where is the next location of ruins? Level 4 completed. Alright. I, I did get both. Whoopsie, dude. Here's an engine. Oh, this looks. Th this is this steampunk? Okay. Oh, it's not really steampunk ish. Looks more like from ancient London, kind of. Not ancient London, like old London, where it's like all gears and stuff. Alright. I see the letter immediately. But as you grew older, things started changing. Isn't that normal? I'm guessing we can pick this up. Wheel. Yep. Can I pick, can we pick this up? Or oh, it's just random gear? Random gear, okay. Alrighty. Before we check it back, let's check the front again. Okay, so... Light there. A chest that needs a four, let, four number combination. Some sort of jukebox. Ah. Oh, this is simple. This, let me do this first. This is just basically, we need to just move the colors to the respective locations. Hmm. Let's see. What's the easiest way? Oh, they're all exactly opposite from each other. Hmm, okay. Oh, we get the thing. Not wrong. Okay, there's that. Hmm. Purple wants to go there. And then green, green, blue has to go there. Okay. There you go. A light ball and a gem. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and then the main door has some sort of triangle and a square piece that I need to find. All right, so that's the goal basically: a four number co, a four number combination, and a triangle and square piece. All right, let's check the back. We saw this earlier: the gem and another light bulb. And this seems to be the blueprint of what we're trying to do. And I see five light bulbs. Ugh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Can we just take this off? We can. The metal piece disappeared. The heck? Oh, whoa. Okay. Something protruded out. Protruded out. What is this? The band. So is this, it's basically, it's for this, right? This band has to be for this thing. Alright, so. This has to be, it has to go here. And then. Light bulb there. Light bulb there. And bam. Uh huh. Oh, that's an electric. That's an electric generator. Okay, lights are on. Oh, what's that? Two, three, six, four. Okay, so that's the number combination for this chest right here. Two, three, uh, six, four. Oh, that's a pretty fancy key lock. Alright. Two keys. Okay. Where can a triangle key? Oh, I thought it was going to be something else, but apparently just straight up keys. Alright. Blunt, unlock that. And then... Oh. That's it. Not gonna lie. This one was not satisfying. This is... This was a kind of disappointing one. I thought it was going to be a bit harder. It was going to be much more satisfying. Um, oh well. Alright, next one. Camera Obscura. Oh, that looks cool. Alright, ooh, this door looks cool. Alright, let's check the front as usual. Let's see. Alright, I see the gem immediately. Yep, bucket of water. Can we click on the lights, I'm guessing? Nope, alright. So there is an A, B, there's alphabets here, A, B, C, D. And then there's some sort of... Oh? Okay. So we gotta find... Wait. Oh, I, I think I get this. Ah. 
Oh. Okay, a bunch of symbols. So we gotta find a four symbol sequence, and then this is the way to like turn uh, to turn them on and then put them put them in the proper uh, position. Let's see. Anything else here? Okay, something will be coming out of here. This? Oh, okay. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else in the front side. So let's check the back side. Haven't seen a gem yet. Haven't seen the paper yet either. Which? Okay, let's see the back side. Oh, there's the ladder. Oh wait, there's a. Let me take that gear first. Oh, I can't. Okay. Take the gear set. Camera gear. Okay. Let me take this ladder, bro. Engineering school was a wedge that separated you from your friends. Okay, never mind. We're not a cat anymore. We we were from engineering school. No wonder, no wonder this, no wonder this place looks de depressing as hell. Ah, match the symbol. Simple enough. Okay, a screen projector popped out. It's empty. Yeah. Wait. Oh, okay. A new one. Mm hmm. Camera reel, okay. And a gem. All right. I think we've gotten both gems already, so let's go. Oh, I can spin this shit. I'm trying to click on this. Why is it not letting me? Oh, there you go. Jeez. A is. Oh. Okay. That's. This is actually pretty simple. So A is it A B C D. So this, uh, some if I have to guess, is it like is it going downwards here or like it's like A any of these combinations? Hmm. Oh no. Okay, so it's just going this way. Alright, so So A is the first one. B e is some sort of Benton symbol. C is the wheel and B is like a circle. Alright, let's shoot, check that I guess. Hmm. That's not it. Maybe we have to try. Well, maybe we have to do it like the in sequence. Like so, A is the f the symbol, the cross, the wheel, and then the the star. Okay, okay. Doesn't seem to doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be it either. There has to be a way to solve this. But I haven't tried this yet. Oh, I thought I have to click on the shit. Okay, a star piece came out, which is for this thing. Oh, whoa, that's cool. A star dropped. Oh, I am dumb. All right, so it's the star, the, gra the star lines, dot, and ben 10. Okay, so it's stars, line, eh, dot, and then them. There you go. Okay, this one is just me being potato. Could have done it, could have solved that easier. <laughs> Alrighty. Level 6 completed. Hmm. All right. I but I think that's all I have for this episode. Um. So far, aside from the some of the, one of the puzzles from one of the puzzles, I have to be honest, is not as satisfying. But graphical wise and like story wise, somehow the story of this game it is pretty interesting. It's pretty cool, and the way that the puzzles like kind of change and turn because of how it is, it's pretty cool. And I hope if you do like this game, do check it out. It's called Doors and Paradox. This came out recently. So, thank you everyone for watching. If you do like this video, please don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And don't first and please if you in please if you do like any of my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel right below. So, and furthermore, if you want to check for any of my updates, my rambling, my stuff, follow me on my Twitter right here. So, well, thank you once more, one more. Once more, thank you for watching everybody and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.